guys how's it going it is obadiah and today we are back on the center playing some arc so today i want to do something that i have actually already oh a little uh, just a little bit burdened what is on me that is burdening nothing okay this guy just must be full i didn't think he was full enough to be burdened uh anyways today guys i want to do something i have not done uh in a while actually my very first arc video that i ever recorded and put up which is which was really bad i went back and checked it out earlier i'm like man that was terrible um was building a quetzal catcher and i want to kind of do that video again a little bit more interesting and also because we need one anyways so might as well show people how to do it you know what i mean so i want to take care of that today oh also uh guys if you do enjoy the video or if you learned something do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already um anyway so i've been out gathering up some materials uh we got some, i have a bunch of levels on this guy that i just haven't used he definitely needs a little more weight and we'll get to 750 weight for now let's check this out 750 melee seems awesome i want him to go faster okay that'll do for now let's go ahead and park this guy so i've been getting some wood I've been getting them some thatch. I've been getting some stone. And that beaver is falling through the, my, my roof. Let's go ahead and park this guy up here. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and grab the other stuff that I got. Some wood. I'm going to have to do this in batches. Uh, and thatch and stone because I'm going to make the quest catcher out of stone. I considered doing it out of metal. But realistically, that's unnecessary. And I've always done it out of stone. So I might as well just keep doing it out of stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up here, bring all the materials over, and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so for the Quetz Catcher, there's some things we need to make. I'm gonna make it all out of the uh, S Plus crafting station, so that way we can pick it up if needed. And I'm gonna do it out of stone. So first we need some foundations. Uh-uh-uh, stone foundations. I might make a little bit more than I need. No, let's just do the right regular amount. So I need four of these. And for the ceilings, I need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then some of the top, three, six, nine, let's do another 12. Great, we got those. Um, we are going to need some stone pillars. Let's just do medium pillars, one, two, three, four. And let's do some small ones as well. And a couple large ones, because I don't remember exactly how the s plus pillars compared to regular ones so i just want all the sizes available uh dino gates that's a big one not the behemoth gates the regular dino gate size uh stone gateway let's do one two three four now let's do uh, some wooden ramps let's just make that man oh we can't okay so i'm gonna go ahead and keep making stuff you need ramps and ladders as well and maybe a hatch frame um, I'm gonna get everything crafted up and then I'll bring you guys back to put everything together All right guys, we should have everything we need to build up this quets catcher cage And we're gonna use our lower level quets because that's pretty much always good for And I put everything in his inventory for us to build and uh, some of it might seem a little weird But I promise it'll probably make sense by the time I'm done um, so let's go ahead and grab some of the stuff we need right away maybe the little bit more the more important stuff now i'm not sure about these pillars what's going to be best so let's just go ahead and grab them all uh how, how much can we grab of this before we get overburdened hatch frames maybe let's grab half the ladders some railings perfect so the very first thing you want to do is place the foundation the main first foundation, and this is the worst part. After this, it's all really easy, but getting this sucker straight so it doesn't look ridiculous is a huge pain in the butt. So let's take a look. Between the Quetzal Sway and Arc B and Arc, it can be a real challenge. Okay, that looks fairly straight. Now we wanna to try to get it centered. So I'm thinking right there looks pretty good, maybe a little more over. Does that look centered? And we want to go as back as far as we can. Just like that, okay. 
and I'm thinking right there. Did we get it? Okay, it looks good. So now we can go ahead and one, and then throw the second one. Snap, snap, please. Nope, snap. Just can you can you do me a snap? This is, for some reason, having a lot of trouble snapping. Usually it's not this difficult. Let's do, let's do that one, that one, and now let's try this one. Snap! Oh, for a second we had it. Dang it, okay. All right, we got our four foundations down, and now it's time to place ceilings all the way around. And these snap real easy, luckily. And I like to personally have an extra ceiling coming off each side, so that way I can take ramps and do this and do this. That way I have a nice little walk down to the like driver's booth here. Okay, so now I'm thinking, uh, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. We'll throw an extra couple of ceilings in the back. This is just if you want to, not required. I personally like it. Um, and then, Dino Gates. So, we do have a nice benefit, I don't know how this will work though, of uh, Dino Gates with S plus snapping. Normally you have to line them up. However, let's see how well the snap works for us. Because we need it to snap a certain way, a certain direction, if you will. Well, we can at least snap that one there. That's easy. But we need to have ones going the other way, too. That's pretty important. Let's do this, this. Yeah, just like that. Whoa, it's freaking out. Whoa. That thing was freaking out. Now, normally I leave a little bit of a gap in between so they're not necessarily touching. But we're gonna go ahead and try it like this and see See how it works. We may have to come back and adjust that later. <laughs> oh man, those things are freaking out. But then you've got this. Um, and you think like, oh, do I need doors or something to keep the Quetzals in? And no, you do not. Okay, the next step is your pillars. So let's see, is one medium pillar the same height? It's not, but one large pillar is gonna be like, oh, that's small gonna be far too big I assume right yes so the large might work mm -mm -mm -mm. I like to have the pillar out here let's try it let's see if it'll snap right to where we want it if it has a snap point Ooh, it does okay so I'm gonna like the large pillar otherwise you, you normally need four of the regular pillars okay how high is that can we see oh oh that's actually perfect love it okay so we got one there and let's do another one on this side. Really just to keep the look even, not for any actual purpose. Except for it doesn't want to go there. Well, what is up with the S plus stuff just not wanting to snap? Awesome. So now you've got to kind of, first just kind of jump place for the ceilings like this. Now I like to have a hatch frame. Did I grab those? right there perfect and some i might put another hatch frame somewhere else as well but to start and some of the stuff i'm doing is honestly just optional like you don't have to have two pillars you don't uh you don't have to have the hatch frame come on uh however this is being a pain so let's go ahead and take the ladder and do this one two three and Four? That it snapped the way I like? It sure did. So now we go ahead and climb up here to the top to finish placing the ceilings. I feel like the Quetzal sway is causing me more problems than I'm used to. Okay, we're, we're going to grab some more ceilings and, I'm, and I'll put together some of the aesthetic stuff and some of the bonus options. Okay, so I made a few more ceilings. Uh, we should only need one unless we screwed up just right there. Some people like to have them here as well. Um, this is really just personal preference, depending how you want it to look. Honestly, that, a lot of the stuff from here on out, like you could be done right now, theoretically, and have yourself a decent 
Quetz Cage, but I think there are a lot of little add-ons that do make a huge difference, like putting a ladder right here. And you go, why would I do that? And because uh, sometimes when you catch a Quetz, it gets in the way. Oh, it's not going to place where I want it, is it? It's going to place literally either side, but not right where I want it because, you know, arc logic. Uh, yes! Oh, it worked! Oh, the arc gods have smiled upon me today, and it is a glorious. Will it happen again? Sure will! Awesome. So I like that, and I also like to put some railings on. Um, I don't. Now, depending on what your server settings are, you might run out of how many structures you can place, uh, which is fine. Ours is set to one and a half times, so I last time I built one of these, I was on a server that was set to two times. So some of this aesthetic stuff I might end up removing if I run out of space or run out of structures. Do one of those, just like this. Beautiful. Now I got a little railing on top, isn't that nice? And now we can climb down here if needed. All right, so we got that set up. Um, now there are some little extra bonus things that I think make a humongous difference. So we need this and this and this. Okay, so the first thing I recommend is throwing a bed and two storage boxes up here. Uh, oh, there are already too many structures on this platform. Okay, so unfortunately we might have to get rid of our beautiful railing. Oh, such a bummer because I love that railing. Of all the railings I've ever had, and all the railings that will ever come, this one's my favorite. Okay, I've removed the railing and now we can go ahead and lay down a bed. Uh, I usually do two beds. Let's do one there. And one here. Let's try to make it look as nice as possible. Maybe like right here. Beautiful. And then also a couple storage boxes. Just the small ones so they don't take up too much room. Um, you know. Yeah, and there's a reason for it, I promise. Now, in each one of these boxes, we are going to put a canteen, a campfire, and a full canteen. And this one, we will do a canteen and a campfire. Okay, so I've went ahead and placed all the little extras, and let me show you what they are. So up top, I put two beds and two storage boxes. In each box, we have got, open please, oh, the lags a sleeping bag, a campfire, and a full canteen. And then I also did the same thing back here, a bed and a box, and on this side, a bed and a box. And the reason I have those is the canteen is in case you were in a hot area and start getting dehydrated and don't wanna pass out and die. The campfire is in case you're in a cold area and are slowly dying of hypothermia and need to heat yourself up, which means you should also put some thatch or wood or something in there. Um, and then the sleeping bag is in case you run out of beds for some reason, or it's just kind of nice to have. I think I have, three in the boxes, one in each one, and one's missing it. Um, but those do make a big difference, and plus the beds will let you teleport between beds, um, res if you accidentally fall to your death, and make some mistakes, it just gives you security and just makes it an overall better thing. All these ladders help you move around the area, because you don't know if the quest is gonna knock out and you're not gonna be able to move. Um, so you wanna give yourself as many options as possible. And so yeah, it looks ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it's off center. Holy crap, do you see that? Oh, that's the worst thing. So I'm gonna gather stuff that I need, uh, take any Rex eggs I've gotten so far and make some kibble, and go see if we can find a Quetz. I may or may not tame it. If the level's not very good, I'm not gonna bother and waste kibble on it, but I will show you guys how to trap one and knock it out. All right, so I took our catcher out and I found a Quetzal. Uh, I believe it's level 84, let's check. So essentially very useless to us. But here's how the catcher works. You wanna swoop up behind it, and stop right when it's in the middle of your uh, your trap, which is it might take a couple tries. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Usually, I mean, I've done it in first try a couple times, but usually it takes a couple passes to get it just right. Oh, uh, oh I thought we had it. I might have made a mistake by making this Quetzal so fast. Much easier with a slower Quetzal. Right? Ah, they don't, it's not stopping fast enough. All right. Well, get out from under me, bud. Here we go. And okay, I just need to make another pass. So I'm gonna swing around, and this is this is the one. 
Okay, all we gotta do is get right up. Like, this height is perfect. And then just... Oh, we need to get away from the wall, actually. It would be very helpful. Okay, I waited until it was away from the wall. Now we're gonna do it. We're just gonna swoop up behind it. Oh, I went a little too far. Perfect. So now, once you are completely stopped, it's almost like the structure solidifies and it can't get out, no matter what you do. I can punch it, and it'll just be stuck in there perfectly. And now, see, I can move around, I can do what I want. In this case, I will knock it out. That's one. I'm not gonna actually tame it. I'm just gonna knock it out to show you guys how this works. So it's two, and it'll lay right there. And see how it kind of blocks my way to get to some things. That's why I put a ladder on both sides with my boxes and whatnot. Um, it's a really a huge benefit. And you can access inventory just right here and tame it up and then just hang it on this platform until it's done. And because you're not mounted on your Quetzal, it'll never run out of stamina. However, the second that you move, the Quetzal will drop. It does not come with you. So you've got to make sure and stay in one place until it's done. But holding it up in the air, it acts as a taming pen, a cage, the whole deal. All right, guys, I do think that is gonna be it for today. If you did like the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, always feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, you can hit me up on all the social medias, your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even Google Plus, even though no one uses it. And uh, if you are uh, feeling a little generous, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. Um, but for today, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.